Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Lost Souls, and today we are going to do a little experiment here. We have the entire contrast paint line in here, along with the Gray Seer contrast uh, base spray and the Wraithbone base, base spray, as well as a couple of the technical paints back there. Uh, the uh, technical Storm Shield, which is the hard coat stuff, uh, and the technical contrast medium right here, and the technical hard coat. And then these are the two new base colors. We have the Gray Seer and Wraithbone colors as well. Um, we're going to take a couple of models. We've got some uh, Necrons that were primed black that were never finished. So for our, for our studio army, we're gonna take those. We weren't planning on using them, so no harm, no foul. <laughs> Don't tell Larry. Uh, we're gonna take those, we're gonna pick out three colors. Uh, I'll probably do some of the weird colors that I uh, wasn't expecting on seeing, so like, I definitely want to see what this white looks like because it's apothecary white. That'll be interesting. I, I might do one of these crazy blues, probably probably that one, uh, which is the uh, let's see, Talisar blue contrast, which is really interesting looking. And I think I'm gonna do something weird like a purple or or maybe this green. So uh, yeah, let's do the blue, let's do the green. So there we go. I'm gonna use contrast plague bear, 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 plague bearer flesh. Uh, I'm going to use the contrast apothecary white and i'm going to use this crazy looking blue the contrast talisar blue uh i'm going to use the wraith bone spray as well uh, as my base coat and again remember that the models i'm about to prime with that are already primed black so i'm actually going over black so we'll see how good the coverage is first uh and then we'll hit them with these three colors just to see what they turn out like uh and then yeah the possibilities are are wide open so let's go ahead and get started all right, just to show you what we're working with here, I've got uh, three Necron death marks that were literally gathering dust in our broken model bin uh, that had been primed black. So the first experiment here is going to be using this here bone white spray to see the coverage over these. Now this is supposed to be used specifically with the contrast as an undercoat. So you don't actually need to prime the models first and then apply this uh, wraith bone, but I'm gonna do it just to see again how good the coverage is uh, but I'm going to take these three models out back. We're going to spray them real fast and bring them back in. All right. So I've got these guys uh, primed here with the new Wraith Bone model paint contrast undercoat stuff here. As you can see, uh, these were completely black before. Pretty good coverage. I got to say, a uh, really quick prime job on my part. Just, uh, just trying to touch these up real fast. So uh, pretty solid coverage all the way around. Um, pretty smooth coat here too. Just to give you an example here, uh, I'm in Texas. It's 95 degrees Fahrenheit uh, right now. Just check the weather too. It's 37% humidity outside and these dried really quick. There's no chunks or uh, buildup you can get when it's super humid outside. So uh, not ideal priming conditions in my opinion with 37% uh, humidity, but the results speak for themselves. I'm pretty pleased with the way this stuff turned out and I literally sprayed these less than five minutes ago and they're already dry probably because I stuck them in the Texas sun for about two minutes. So uh, there you go. Um, next up, I'm going to hit these with the, uh, uh, the contrast paints and see what they look like. First one done. Poppy Carrie White, here we go. All done. Next up, Plague Bearer Flesh.
Plague Mirror Flesh. And now we wait. Okay, I've let these guys dry for about 20 minutes. Uh, having done that, it looks like a lot of the contrast has finally settled over the cracks. I can see a couple of spots here on the uh, model that I painted with the uh, Talisar blue that I missed here. It looks like one in the crack. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but overall, they look pretty cool, pretty dry. Um, there's still a little bit of liquid, so we're gonna let these sit for a bit more but uh, you can kind of see how this contrast coverage is, and it's pretty impressive. So uh, we'll be back after they finish drying. So the models are pretty much dry at this point. Um, put him, putting them down here next to their uh, respective paint pot, or contrast pot as it were. Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Again, missed a couple spots on the blue one, but I can touch those up no problem. The contrast stuff flows really well. Uh, it feels kind of like, uh, when you're painting it on, it feels kind of like a, a shade. Uh, so some of the old GW washes, if you will. But, uh, man, it's just got a ton more pigment that you can clearly see over the top of that wraith bone. Again, if that the wraith bone is more of a, a, a warmer tone, a cream color, uh, to help with that contrast there. But, man, I'm really pleased with the coverage and the results on these miniatures. Uh, I really want to try out a lot of this a lot of these different paints. We got the full line here to, to play around with We're probably gonna be playing around with a, a few more of these models uh, that we have again. They started off as black uh, Necrons primed black Necrons that were just gathering dust pretty much and one one quick coat of the Wraith bone um, contrast undercoat and then a quick you guys watch me do a quick and dirty job with the uh, contrast colors there. Got some great coverage, pretty cool results. Uh, I can't wait to incorporate this in the rest of the paint jobs. I'm really kind of surprised and shocked about this apothecary white. It's definitely, it's not a white obviously, it's more of a gray, but uh, that's such a cool effect uh, that you get with just adding a gray. It's not something <laughs> that you think you might, you know, you, it's not something you think about, but then having used it now, man, I can't wait to try this out on some other uh, other colors here. 
I think contrast in combination with some of the other paints, some of the technical paints, some of the other base coats and things like that, you will get really awesome looking results very quickly. Uh, I'm pretty pleased so far. So uh, it's just going to take me, me personally some more time to play around with it to figure out how to best use the paint. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with some paint schemes and some armies uh, that can best take advantage of this stuff, but I'm sure they're out there and I can't wait to find them. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Adam here from Bowls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.